The Mu Moon pottery period is an archaeological era in Korean prehistory that dates to approximately 1500 to 300 BC. This period is named after the Korean name for undecorated or plain cooking and storage vessels that form a large part of the pottery assemblage over the entire length of the period, but especially 850-550 BC. The Mu Moon period is known for the origins of intensive agriculture in complex societies in both the Korean Peninsula and the Japanese archipelago. This period or parts of it have sometimes been labeled as the Korean Bronze Age. After Thomson's 19th century three-age system classification of human prehistory, However, the application of such terminology in the Korean case is misleading since local bronze production did not occur until approximately the late 8th century BC at the earliest. Bronze artifacts are rare, and the distribution of bronze is highly regionalized until after 300 BC. A boom in the archaeological excavations of Mu Moon period sites since the mid-1990s has recently increased our knowledge about this important formative period in the prehistory of East Asia. The Mu Moon period is preceded by the Juman pottery period. The Juman was a period of hunting, gathering, and small-scale cultivation of plants. The origins of the Mu Moon period are not well known, but the megalithic burials, Mu Moon pottery, and large settlements found in the Liao River Basin and North Korea c. 1800-1500 probably indicate the origins of the Mu Moon period of southern Korea. Slash and burn cultivators who used Mu Moon pottery displaced people using Juman period subsistence patterns. Chronology Early Mu Moon The early Mu Moon is characterized by shifting cultivation, fishing, hunting, in discrete settlements with rectangular semi subterranean pit houses. The social scale of early Mu Moon societies was egalitarian in nature. But the latter part of this period is characterized by increasing intra-settlement competition and perhaps the presence of part-time, big man, leadership. Early Mu Moon settlements are relatively concentrated in the river valleys formed by tributaries of the Jiam River in west-central Korea. However, one of the largest early Mu Moon settlements, Eon, is located in the middle Nam River Valley in south-central Korea. In the latter early Mu Moon, large settlements composed of many longhouses such as Baksiok Dong appeared in the area of modern Cheon and city, Chung Cheong Nam Du. Important long-term traditions related to Mu Moon ceremonial and mortuary systems originated in this sub-period. These traditions include the construction of megalithic burials, the production of red burnished pottery, and production of polished groundstone daggers. Middle Mu Moon The Middle Mu Moon is characterized by intensive agriculture, as evidenced by the large and expansive dry field remains recovered at Dipayong, a sprawling settlement with several multiple ditch enclosures. Hundreds of pit houses, specialized production, and evidence of the presence of incipient elites and social competition. A number of wet field features have been excavated in southern Korea, indicating that paddy field rice farming was also practiced. Burials dating to the latter part of the middle Mu Moon contain a few high status mortuary offerings, such as bronze artifacts. Bronze production probably began around this time in southern Korea. Other high-status burials contain greenstone ornaments. A number of megalithic burials with deep shaft interments, substantial pavements of rounded cobblestone, and prestige artifacts such as bronze daggers, jade, and red burnished vessels were built in the vicinity of the southern coast in the late middle Mu Moon. High status megalithic burials in large raised floor buildings at the Deokchen near Najim Dong sites in Jiongsang Nam do provide further evidence of the growth of social inequality and the existence of polities that were organized in ways that appear to be similar to simple chiefdoms. Korean archaeologists sometimes refer to Middle Mu Moon culture as Songukri culture. Co-occurring artifacts and features that are grouped together as Songukri culture are found in settlement sites in the Hoseo and Honam regions of Southeast Korea. 
but Songuk Re culture settlements are also found in western Yongnam. Excavations have also revealed Songuk Re settlements in the Ulsan and Gimmer areas. In 2005 archaeologists uncovered Songuk Re cultural pit houses at a site deep in the interior of Gangwon province. The ultimate geographic reach of Songuk Re culture appears to have been Jeju Island and western Japan. Mumun culture is the beginning of a long-term tradition of rice farming in Korea that links Mumun culture with the present day. But evidence from the early and middle Mumun suggests that, although rice was grown, it was not the dominant crop. During the Mumun people grew millets, barley, wheat, legumes, and continued to hunt and fish. Late Mumun The late Mumun is characterized by increasing conflict, fortified hilltop settlements, and a concentration of population in the southern coastal area. A late Mumun occupation was found at the Namsan settlement, located on the top of a hill 100 meters above sea level in modern Changwon City. Jiongsang Nam Du. A shell midden was found in the vicinity of Namsan, indicating that, in addition to agriculture, shellfish exploitation was part of the late Mumun subsistence system in some areas. Pit houses at Namsan were located inside a ring ditch that is some 4.2 meters deep and 10 meters in width. Why would such a formidable ring ditch, so massive in size, have been necessary? One possible answer is intergroup conflict. Archaeologists propose that the late Mumun was a period of conflict between groups of people. The number of settlements in the late Mumun is much lower than in the previous sub-period. This indicates that populations were reorganized and settlement was probably more concentrated in a smaller number of larger settlements. There are a number of reasons why this could have occurred. There are some indications that conflict increased or climatic change led to crop failures. Notably, according to the traditional Yayoi chronological sequence, Mumun-esque settlements appeared in northern Kyushu during the late Mumun. The Mumun period ends when Ian appeared in the archaeological record along with pit houses that had interior composite hearth ovens reminiscent of the historic period. Some scholars suggest that the Mumun pottery period should be extended to C. O. O. B. C. because of the presence of an undecorated ware that was popular between 400 B. C. and O. O. B. C. called Gem Today. However, bronze became very important in ceremonial and elite life from 300 B. C. Additionally, Iron tools are increasingly found in southern Korea after 300 BC. These factors clearly differentiate the time period 300 BC to zero from the cultural, technological, and social scale that was present in the Mumun pottery period. The unequal presence of bronze and iron in increased amounts from a few high status graves after 300 BC as sets this time apart from the Mumun pottery period. It is thus that, as a cultural technical period, the Mumun was finished by approximately 300 BC. From about 300 BC, bronze objects became the most valued prestige mortuary goods. But iron objects were traded and then produced in the Korean peninsula at that time. The late Mumun Early Iron Age Nukdu Island Shell Midden site yielded a small number of iron objects, Lelang and Yayoi pottery, and other evidence showing that beginning in the late Mumun, local societies were drawn into closer economic and political contact with the societies of the late Zhou dynasty, final Jomon, and early Yayoi. Mumun Cultural Traits As an archaeological culture, the Mumun is composed of the following elements. Subsistence Broad spectrum subsistence was practiced through the early Mumun. That is to say, evidence excavated from pit houses and other outdoor household features indicates that hunting, fishing, and foraging was occurring in addition to agriculture. Stone tools used in agricultural subsistence activities are common and include semi-luno blades. Intensive wet field agriculture was in place in the middle Mumun. However, even the pit houses of settlements associated with wet field archaeological features show evidence that people were also engaged to some degree in hunting and fishing. 
settlement large rectangular shaped pit houses were used in early Mu Moon. These pit houses had one or more hearths, and pit houses with up to six hearths indicate that such features were the living spaces for multiple generations of the same household. Sometime after 900 BC, small pit houses were the norm. The planned shape of these pit houses are square, circular and oval. They do not have interior hearths, instead, the central area of the pit house floor is equipped with a shallow overwork pit. Archaeologists see this change in architecture as a social shift in the household, namely, the Titan multi-generational unit housed under one roof in the early Mu Moon changed fundamentally into households formed of groups of semi-independent nuclear family units in separate pit houses. The average settlement in the Mu Moon was small, but settlements with as many as several hundred pit houses emerged in the middle Mu Moon. Economy Household production was the basic mode of the Mu Moon economy but specialized craft production and a big man style redistributive prestige economy emerged in the middle Mu Moon. Archaeological evidence has documented cases in which it appears that surplus production of crops, stone tools, and pottery occurred in the middle Mu Moon. Artifacts that illustrate regional redistributive systems and exchange include green stone ornaments, bronze objects, and some kinds of red burnished pottery. Mortuary practices megalithic burials, stone cyst burials, and jar burials are found. Some burials in the latter part of the middle Mu Moon are especially large and required a significant amount of labor to construct. A small number of middle Mu Moon burials contain prestige, ceremonial artifacts such as bronze, greenstone, groundstone daggers, and red burnished ware.